Good morning walkers and welcome back to Billings, Montana. Today it is about, it's about noon. It's about 23 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, I think it's negative five degrees Celsius, uh, end of October. And it's a cold blustery day here in Billings. But we're gonna show you some of the downtown area again. I, I filmed a couple years ago in, or a year ago in, um, October, uh, but it was much warmer and it was in 360 degrees uh, viewing. So this will be a little bit different. Just filmed on the Rev Rock Trail this morning. Very beautiful, um, and uh, but cold. So uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this. Give us a comment with feedback. We always appreciate that. Uh, and subscribe and click that bell. Uh, check out our other channels at Amazing Nature Therapy and Traveling Mel. Uh, there's a bunch of great hotels, restaurants, bars, and as you can see, tap rooms here. This is Thirsty Street. Uh, they do a lot of sour beers if you're into that. Um, and I'm going to show you a few others as we walk around. There's quite a few of them. I'll point out several. Um, Billings is, uh, as I stated in my Rimrock walk um it's got a reputation for being an industrial town but it's that's just the view from the highway uh you see some refineries some stockyards that sort of thing but when you get downtown there's a lot going on uh music venues restaurants i said all that stuff uh so we're going to show you some of that uh we are starting off at 30th street and first avenue walking up to 31st and we're going to make a left down to montana um, there, what else is it say? Oh, I'm using this new vertical axis stabilizer. Um, so hopefully that's going to minimize the up and down motion. Um, I'm going to make a left here towards Montana Street and the rail line. <clears throat> so let me know what you think about that. And with that, I think I'm just going to walk. Billings is a great place to hang out if you are on a cross-country road trip. It's a great place to stop. Lots of fun things to do in the area with kids and family stuff. Um, a lot of cultural things to do. It's got the most hotel rooms of any city in the, within five states, I think. It's probably until you get down to Denver. This is Montana Street. Off to the right, we have the uh, rail line that goes through town. I'm going to do kind of a zigzag pattern to uh, show you some of the um, great restaurants, places to eat, breweries, and hotels. I don't live here, but I've had the opportunity to come through here um, a couple, several times over the last year and since I've lived in Montana. So I've learned a little bit about it. If you are a local, uh, or Montana knows Billings, please chip in in the comments below. I'd love to learn about, well, any mistakes I made, but also anything I missed, anything you think people should see or know about the awesome town of Billings, Montana. Today is a Wednesday, uh, and I think I said it's right around noon. Uh, so 
it's not too busy because it's cold out but they have a lot of outdoor festivals and events in the summer when it's warm got some cool street art over there and some old advertising on the building Here on the right, this castle looking building is, a, uh, is the Western Heritage Center. The corner of Montana and 29th. left here and uh, go up to one of my favorite restaurants in town which is actually um, food based on South Carolina low country food it's called the sassy biscuit great name and the from what I understand the owner is the wife of a an Air Force serviceman um, and she was looking for something to do so she started this great restaurant and it is absolutely fantastic located up here next to Brockles Chocolate. Cross over. We're gonna have to wait for the light. Love some of these old brick buildings from back in the day. Biscuit. Right next to Brockles Chocolates. here and go down by the Babcock Theater <clears throat> and then in warmer times they'll have markets up here underneath this awning this old ticket booth.
up ahead is Rock Creek Coffee Roasters. It's a popular coffee shop in the area. of which is the Montana Brewing Company, one of the many brew pubs in the area. Up ahead is Stacked, a Montana grill. That's supposedly pretty good. I haven't eaten there myself. On the corner is the Big Dipper, which I think started in Missoula, actually. But they've got great ice cream, Montana made. And then over here, this large brick building is called the Northern Hotel. Classic old, uh, the interior is a great classic old Northern Hotel. Uh, with some restaurants down below. We're gonna here pardon the sniffles please I know it's annoying but I have a cold I'm trying not to let my nose run all over my face Just ducking down here to give you a view of the train tracks, the rail lines that come straight through town, kind of the industrial element that is primarily to the east of town. I don't know if you can see a Quonset hut down there, gray, next to a brick building. It's, uh, Either the, the field house or right next to the field house is apparently a great bakery. On the left is Wild Ginger, the base of this parking garage, Japanese steakhouse. I haven't eaten there, 
But uh, if anybody knows if it's any good, please chip in. And then beyond that is the Double Tree Hilton. Uh, I think you can kind of see it above the parking garage there. We're going to walk right past. It'll come into view. That's probably the biggest hotel in downtown. Surprisingly, a lot of the hotels are out by the highway, or maybe unsurprisingly. Uh, but they have been making efforts to get a um, to get a convention center built here. But as you can imagine, sometimes politics can get in the way of those things. I'm gonna cross with the light here. against the light got my 10,000 steps on my Fitbit. A lot of great old early 20th, late 19th century brick buildings here. Off to the right, you might see Carter's Brewery. I haven't been in there yet. In fact, I didn't even notice that last time I was here. Looks like it could be good. Dickie's Barbecue Pit is probably pretty good. Apparently pretty good. FYI, we are on Montana Street and uh, we crossed third. We call it third or Route 3. Uh, we're coming up on 25th. So I guess that must have north south road is the 20 is 27th, maybe. In any case, got some great old buildings on this side, too, art galleries and uh, Zydeco, which is Cafe Zydeco, which there's one of those in Bozeman as well. I don't know if it's a chain or not. Across the road is the old railway depot station. It 
used to be a whiskey distillery in there and they got so popular they had to move because they have to store their whiskey at the same place they have their tasting room. This next couple blocks has several uh, great places to eat and imbibe. And I thought there was one behind us called Jade or Flower. Anyway, Uber Brew coming up has nationally they win all kinds of national awards great beer but they have fantastic food as well we've got something called a uh, a german egg roll which is fantastic <clears throat> and then on the next block uh, they've got the Last Chance Pub, which is actually a cidery. They do um, apple ciders and pear ciders, I guess. Uh, it's pretty good. They've got really good food as well and a great inside atmosphere. If you're looking for a place to hang out before you go to the theater or see a show. Uh -huh. I'm using an external mic and I'm trying to speak close to it, but it has a habit of uh, not really picking up audio as well as the um, as the onboard mic. The advantage though is that I can put a little wind muffler on it and reduce, hopefully reduce, fasten the last chance, cider mill, pub, uh, reduce some of the wind noise. Slippery. One more brewing uh, brewery is the Yellowstone Valley Brewing, where we head east again or west again. Sorry, uh, they have some great brews in there, including a nice saison. If you're into beers, uh, I like saisons.
Sorry about that. Cold is really killing my battery on this camera. So I'll go as long as I can, but it's already at half, half power. <clears throat> One of the other uh, few hotels downtown is the Best Western here, the Clock Tower Inn. That's all I have to say on that. I don't know anything about it. The station is a place where a lot of uh, musical venues happen. I got it wrong, it's 25th is the main north-south route. This is the central post office over here. And I don't know if they have these where you live, but these electrical boxes. In a lot of communities in Montana, they've commissioned artists to do these wraps. Um, so they're not just some ugly green uh, box or gray box. They uh, commission artists to do pieces or photography or something that has something to do with local culture and history. Again, here's the Doubletree Hotel. Whoa, sorry about that. Might get a little bounce here. There we go. Um, and then across the street is kind of a watering hole called Walker's. Kind of a nice cocktail bar for the movers and the shakers. And that's attached to the, well, uh, down the block from the northern. We're at the corner of 25th and 1st now. And we're going to head north a little bit. As soon as the light changes. Or I can jaywalk. Lights going to change. <clears throat> Across the street is Jake's Steakhouse. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a chain or not, but people here love it. And of course, next to Jake's, that tiny little building off by itself, says eat on it, is the Burger Dive. And that is, they've won all kinds of national and international burger awards, and it's disturbingly delicious. They are actually really incredible burgers.
passing Wells Fargo Bank Tower. left is City Hall. And the Justice Court. old building over here. Walking by the courthouse here. Just crossed 26th and 4th Avenue. <clears throat> you can see the rim rocks up there uh, in the distance where we walked on our last walk. I'm not sure we got quite that far down, but yeah, we did. It's about where we ended. 
Uh, the reason I'm coming down this back street over here, or quiet street, is the Montana Art Museum. Off to the right is, I think it's called the Annex. Well, let's go over and find out across this big patch of ice. Um, but in any case, it's where they store a lot of the art that's not on main display. And they also have an artist in residence who is rotating and you can come in and watch them work, which is pretty cool. Um, hope that wind's not too strong. The vault, the visible vault, that's what it is. So you can go in here and, uh, I don't know how exactly it works, but you can watch people work and you can watch, look at some of the stuff that's not on main display. We're gonna go back over to 25th. See the main art museum. It's kind of a cute little trail through the parking lot. You follow the, the river, painted river to get to the vault. Follow the river to the vault. So off this brick building is the Montana Art Museum, or Yellowstone Art Museum, sorry, YAM. <clears throat> we won't go inside, but we will take a look at the front. And across the street, I think, is the Billings Gazette, the major newspaper in the region.
off to the right where they're doing all this work is the Alberta Bear Theater. Uh, you'll hear it's where they do a lot of the theatrical performances. Uh, looks like they're redoing it, the whole thing. I hadn't heard about that. That's good news. Uh, duck down here. Link bus squeaking. Okay, you might recognize this. We're at the corner of 2nd and uh, Broadway. Northern is up ahead on the light left, Northern Hotel. Uh, I think I'm going to end up here. Thank you so much for joining us. I do appreciate it. I appreciate your comments and uh, your subscriptions and your thumbs up. That helps other people find this channel. Uh, and I do read the comments. Uh, so thank you for those. Thanks for joining us. Stay warm out there. Happy walking. And if you are a local, please let me know all the things that I missed, anything that I got wrong, and anything I should do next time I come. All the best. Bye.